Hey there guys, welcome to Peace of Truth. It is actually May 1st, it's a Friday, 2015, 10, 18 a.m. as I'm recording this. I actually just got done with the morning chores, decided to cool off for a couple of minutes, I figured I'd make a quick video for y'all. Now I gotta give a quick shout out to Learn of the Jesuit Order for this. If you've never checked out his channel, it's pretty freaking great, so I definitely suggest you come over here and at least scope out his videos. And I do not think you'd be upset with yourself if you subscribed. Now, a while back, I was, I've was i actually watched most of his videos. I don't know why it doesn't show up that way. But a while back, I saw uh, one of his videos going on over how there are no real photographs of the Earth from space. Now, anybody that hasn't been over this before, please bear with me for a moment. Just let me explain. When you go to any popular search engine, I prefer Bing over Google because fuck Google, but they're all the same. They're all just as bad. But you go to any image search and you type in real pictures of Earth. Uh, really? Real pictures of Earth from space. From outer space, we go from outer space. All right, and every single photo you get is altered, a composite, or com computer graphics, or, or like a painting. It's they're all fake. Every one of them is fake. This is probably an example of the most realistic photo, quote unquote, photo from of Earth from space, but. It's not real. There's no stars in this photograph. It's highly edited. It, it looks like they combined high altitude footage with computer graphics. Now, if you follow the link, I found this pretty interesting. Seven amazing pictures of planet Earth from outer space. It's <laughs> Earth from a distance. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a, that's a computer graphic. This is that same fake photograph we just went over. That was in probably another one in the series. Still no stars or anything real. They shined a big spotlight at the camera in a dark room and, you know, threw some computer graphics in the mix there. But that's your sun, people. That white light there that doesn't look anything like that yellow ball in the sky <laughs> that's reflecting yellow light off the water there. Yeah, that's your sun. Anyway, yeah, no stars in that sky. This is, again, another high-altitude photo if it isn't a computer graphic completely. Another high altitude photo, probably from a U2 or SR-71, a complete fraud of a photograph here. Another fraud of a photo, looks like some more high altitude imaging. But something I found was pretty funny um, on this, uh, this here, I decided to come down and just read some of the comments. And I saw this, the awesomeness of our beautiful planet, and I was just like, Pfft. I'm not even going to re reply to that or look into that. And then comes down here and says, do not bring Jesus into this. Jesus had no idea our planet was a sphere. For him, it was flat. And I think a few people in my audience will find that to be an interesting comment left on this forum. Anyway, to get back to the fact that there are no real pictures of Earth from outer space, they are all fake. That's fake is all get up. Obviously not real. Fake. This is not what the earth looks like from a distance. And, you know, so on and so forth down the line. Now, you might think that you have better look, luck on Google. Google, real pictures of the earth from space. Same stuff, guys. All composites. All fakery. It's all fake. Every bit of it. Not one. And you have to ask yourself, if you were to put in real pictures of the Earth from space, there's no stars in this. This is edited with some kind of fishbowl effect. Um, but if you were to put real pictures of the Earth from space into your browser, you will not get one picture that is actually real. Every one of them is fake. So, having this conversation, like, why is shit from... from a crappy movie showing up under real pictures of Earth from space. You know that's not a real picture of Earth from space. So, 
I've been waking up a lot of people with this. Whenever I trap my, my friends in the same room, I kind of, you know, get them to look into this and it piques their interest. It works very well when getting through to the sheet. Now, having this conversation with a few of my more open-minded friends that had never looked into any of this, they brought up, one of them, my buddy Jesse brought up the point. He said, why don't you search for pictures of satellites in space? Because you would think that, well, the satellite repair they have to do and all that other stuff, that you would be able to find pictures of satellites in space. And this is even more comical than trying to find real pictures real pictures of satellites in outer space here we go now check out this glory here first picture the first picture that comes up for real pictures, a search of real pictures from outer space, you get all this nonsense. Look at it, no stars. One of the more realistic photos you would get if my computer would hurry up and focus. But there's no stars in that picture. This here was, this is literally a movie set, guys. This is literally a movie set. If you if you cannot tell that this is green screen around something, and that this is all, this is like high altitude imaging at night. These are all fake, and there should be nothing but real pictures of satellites in outer space. But we get all this fake stuff. If there's this many satellites in outer space. Then, if there are that many satellites in outer space, we should get photographs from out here all the way in. We get photographs from up here all the way in. And they say that GPS doesn't work on the South Pole, guys. Why does global positioning system not work on the South Pole if we have all these satellites down here around the South Pole? That, that's a complete blanket of satellites around the Earth, allegedly. So why do we have no photographs? of these satellites around the earth none not one real photograph of a satellite in space under google now i'll go over to bing and we'll go to real pictures of satellites in outer space and this guy, that's a real picture of a satellite. Uh, if you think that is real, you should just go outside and hit yourself in the head with a ball peen hammer. If you think that this is a real photograph of a satellite in space, you need to do more homework. So, this is a great way to get through to people, guys. That's that's the only reason why I'm making this video. I really have to give it to Learn of the Jesuit Order. I never would have came about this way of thinking if I didn't start showing my friends that there are no real photographs of the Earth from space. And the ones that are real photographs of the Earth from space are high-altitude photographs that have been edited. Because of Learn of the Jesuit Order, I got on that tantrit and woke up quite a few people as a matter of fact I got woke up about a half a dozen in just a you know relatively short period of time and one of those people actually gave me you know the idea or they told me that I should start looking for satellite photos in space and that's another great point because if you think that these are real people there's something else uh, there's something else You've got a bigger problem. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be. I think you can see for yourself exactly what's going on here. Now, the one thing that I want you to do is not get stuck on the fact that there are no real pictures of the Earth from space, or there's no real pictures 
of a satellite from space. I want you to question yourself, why is it that there are no real pictures of the Earth from space? Why is it that there are no real pictures of a satellite in space? If you start asking yourself those questions and start looking for answers to those questions, you'll be pretty interested where you go. Alright guys, thank you very much for your time. Take care. God bless. Happy hunting.